I am doing a series of videos about how to love yourself. And the reason why is because I didn't realize it until a couple of years ago that I had issues with loving myself. And once I realized that I had a problem in that area, I knew that I had to do something about it. Because if I didn't, I knew that it would stop my growth. So if you have issues with loving yourself, make sure to stay tuned and watch the full video. And also, if you haven't watched my other videos about how to love yourself, make sure you go back after this video and watch those too. Tip number one, be mindful. One of the main things about being mindful is to focus on the present moment. I had an issue with focusing on my past, things that I wish I could change. And what had helped me with being mindful is it teaches you how to focus on now and to pay attention to that exact moment, whether you are sitting down, eating a meal, instead of playing with your cell phone while you are eating, Put that down and just enjoy your meal. Enjoy the flavor, the taste, the seasoning. And being mindful is also too have to do with when you are talking to someone, paying attention to the conversation instead of allowing your mind to wander off. Now, if you are a content creator like me, I used to have a bad habit to where when I'm having a conversation with someone, I immediately start thinking, okay, this will be a great topic for a video. What's bad about that is that it was robbing me of the moment and just enjoying the conversation and not to think about something else. Being mindful also has to do with just listening to some music. When you listen to music, certain songs make you feel a certain way. And that is good because sometimes by just listening to a particular song and if you're going through a difficult season in your life, it will encourage you. So every so often it's good to just listen to music. It's just according to what mood you want to be in and that's what kind of music you need to listen to. Go for a walk. Walking has so many different benefits. And one of the main benefits for me is that it helps me to relax and it's good for stress. And it also helps clear your mind. I love to walk in a beautiful area and just look at nature. When I am in a beautiful surrounding, it makes me happy. Organize your home. When you are at home and when everything is in its right place, it helps you to relax. It helps you to feel at ease. And also it makes it easier for you to find what you need. When I am in a clean, organized environment, it helps me to feel positive and it also helps me feel more productive. So organize your place. Read a book. Reading a book helps you in so many ways. It helps broaden your horizon. It helps build your vocabulary. Another thing I like about reading a book is that whatever the writer is talking about, you're gonna feel like you are there. By just reading a particular story, it makes you feel like that you are in the story. So reading a book can be very powerful. Start journaling. One of the main benefits of journaling is that you are able to express your thoughts and your feelings without feeling like you have to hide anything. And it's also a good way to express your emotions. It's good to write down your thoughts, whether it's something positive or negative. If you are sad, then it's okay because you're not going to be happy all the time. And that's one thing that I had to learn. When I lost my mom, it was a little over a year ago. It was very hard for me and the reason why is because I'm used to always feeling happy and I am very positive so it was hard for me to deal with those feelings to where I needed to cry. So journaling helped me to express my feelings and once I started writing things down I felt a lot better.
I hope it was something said in this video that helped you. If so, please feel free to share it in the comments. If you want to support me and you like my message, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. That way every time I upload a video, you will be notified. I have a Facebook group called Chats with Flow and it's for self-development. So if you want to learn and grow as an individual, join my Facebook group. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.